Vice President Kashim Shatima says President Bola Tinubu is determined to improve the quality of life of the average Nigerian through policies and programs designed to harness the potential of the country's vast population. He was represented on Wednesday at the State House Abuja by the Minister of Health and Social Welfare, Dr. Ali Pate, at the launch of the UN World Population Report 2024. Kehide Amodu reports. The theme of the 2024 State of the World Population Report is interwoven lives, threads of hope, with a special focus on ending inequalities in sexual and reproductive health and rights. It is a sad reality that there has been little progress around the world in this sensitive area since COVID-19. After the impressive gains made in combating maternal mortality, annual reductions in the number of maternal deaths have flatlined and COVID is only a part of it. Since 2016, the world has made no progress in saving women from preventable deaths during pregnancy and childbirth. And most of these deaths are indeed preventable. Nigerian officials are in sync that it is disgraceful in this day and age that the country trails behind in issues of maternal mortality and other health issues. We must fulfill the promises to accelerate actions in Nigeria and ensure no woman dies giving birth. We must ensure that girls stay in school instead of becoming mothers at tender ages, provide access to quality health care and services everywhere, including accelerated access to family planning as fundamental for managing our population. It's unacceptable as one of our, it's a shame that in Nigeria today we are still talking about women dying needlessly from childbirth. Talking about stunting, malnutrition, all those things are very unnecessary, but we need to get our acts right. The Honourable Minister has assured that we are putting the pieces together and sooner than later we will smile again as a country. By 2050, it is projected that Nigeria may have the third largest population in the world. Its population may turn out to be a blessing or a curse, depending on how the country plans for this eventuality. If we invest in our population, youths especially, so that we turn them to good, you know, um, working force that will work for the country. Some we export and they will bring a foreign reserve for us. But if we don't invest in them, in health, in education, uh, and so many other things, it becomes uh, a disaster for us. While the focus of this launch is on ending inequalities in sexual and reproductive health and rights, Nigeria, in addition, must embrace its own reality. It must take urgent action to improve the quality of lives and livelihood of its growing population. There is beauty in numbers, but government must make an extra effort to ensure that those numbers are qualitative enough to make a difference. From State House Abuja, Kainde Amudu, Trust TV News.